Good day guys, Maurice here and today we're talking about EPCs known for endothelial progenitor cells. Now these little buggers are like the body's own repair crew for your blood vessels. They're born in the bone marrow and cruise around your bloodstream ready to patch up any damage to the endothelium which is the fancy name for the inner lining of your blood vessels. So now, why should you care about EPCs? Well, if you want to keep your ticker in top shape and your blood flowing smoothly, you need these guys on your side. Research has shown that having more EPCs and keeping them in firing form can actually help protect against nasty stuff like heart disease, stroke, and peripheral artery disease. So how do you get your EPCs levels up? First off, get off your bum and exercise. Regular aerobic exercise like a brisk walk, bike ride, or swim can kick your bone marrow into gear and send more EPCs out on patrol. Next, take a look at your diet. Omega-3 fatty acids, antioxidants, and polyphenols have all been shown to give EPCs a boost. So chow down on fatty fish, colorful fruits, and maybe even treat yourself to a bit of dark chocolate now and then. And if you really want to bring in the big guns, there are some supplements and herbs that might help. Vitamin D, EPA, DHA from omega-3s, and nitric oxide supplements have some evidence behind them. In addition, ginkgo biloba, Nano curcumin and Panax ginseng are some herbal options to consider. And for the cutting edge stuff, look into peptides like thymosin beta 4 and stromal cell derived factor 1. In addition, as I always will share my own personal stack with you guys. Now, I know some of you might be thinking, Maurice, this sounds great, but how do I know if it's really working? Well, you can actually measure your EPC's levels with a test like flow cytometer and colony forming unit assays. These let you count up your EPC's and see how well they're functioning. There's also some exciting research happening with directly injecting EPC's or their progenitors to help heal damaged blood vessels. This is still in the experimental stages, but it could be a game changer for folks with serious cardiovascular problems, but you all know how some of this stuff end up going missing. So the bottom line is if you want to keep your blood vessels in good repair and reduce your risk of heart attack and stroke, give your EPC some love, exercise right, and maybe add in some target supplements or herbs. Your endothelium will thank you. And as always, do your own research and talk to your doctor before starting any new supplement regimen. And if you found this information very helpful, give this video a like and subscribe to the channel for more science-based health tips. Now, before I let you go, here is my stack to improve EPCs. Nitric oxide, two capsules every morning, produced by Berkeley Life. Two grams of elagic acid and resveratrol, mixed with MCT oil. 5 grams of EPA, DHA, thymos, thymosin, beta-4, 2 milligrams split into 2 doses. And as always, if you are interested in testing any of the following with proper guidance, please do reach out and book a time at your earliest convenience. And if you are still here watching, let me explain all four supplements in specifics. First up, Let's talk about nitric oxide. This molecule is a real powerhouse when it comes to EPC function. It helps mobilize EPCs from the bone marrow, allowing them to enter the bloodstream and travel to areas of vascular damage. Now, nitric oxide also enhances EPC survival level, meaning it helps them live longer and develop into mature endothelial cells more effectively. So just by boosting your nitric oxide levels through supplements or nitrate-rich foods, you're giving your EPCs a serious leg up. Next, we've got polyphenols. Now, these plant-based antioxidants have been shown to increase EPC number and function in several ways. 
They can stimulate EPC mobilization from the bone marrow, protect EPCs from oxidative stress, and enhance their ability to form new blood vessels. And some studies have even found that specific polyphenols like resveratrol found in red wine can directly increase EPC levels in the bloodstream. So load up on those berries, green tea, and dark chocolate for a tasty way to support your EPCs. Now let's talk about EPA, DHA, omega-3s. Now these fatty acids are known for their anti-inflammatory properties, which is great news for EPCs. Inflammation can actually damage the endothelium and impair EPC function. So by reducing inflammation, omega-3s create a more favorable environment for EPCs to do their job. See, EPA and DHA also been shown to directly enhance EPC survival, proliferation, and function. So make sure you're getting plenty of fatty fish in your diet or consider taking a high quality fish oil supplement. And finally, we have thymosin beta-4. This peptide is like a secret weapon for EPC support. It's been shown to stimulate EPC migration to sites of vascular injury, helping them get to where they need it the most. Thymosin beta-4 also promotes EPC differentiation into major endothelial cells and enhances their ability to form new blood vessels. Plus, it has potent anti-inflammatory and antioxidant effects, creating a more hospitable environment for EPCs to thrive. So there you have it, guys, a deep dive into how nitric oxide, polyphenols like resveratrol, omega-3s, and thymosin beta-4 can supercharge your EPCs and keep your blood vessels in prime condition. Remember, these substances work best when combined with an overall healthy lifestyle. And as always, if you do find this information useful, Give this video a like and subscribe to the channel for more cutting edge health insights. And don't forget to share this video with your friends and family because everyone deserves to have a top notch repair crew looking after their blood vessels. Cheers guys.